Okay, yeah, I guess just get into it. Anyway, it's so cool to meet you, by the way. This is yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I, I, well, I was actually supposed to be coming over in June this year, so I had flights. Oh, booked. really? I had this whole thing sort of planned, and I was going to duck in and see if you were training and see what was happening. But, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I know, kind of changed. Yeah, a lot of plans. Hey, pretty crazy. But, yeah, kind of just following your footsteps. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just down as well. Because it's like I had the best time there. And yeah, um, Claudia awesome. Broussard actually messaged me when you were up there training with them a few oh, years ago. Yeah. Oh, you know, what do you think of Duke? You know, we've got this great kid and she wants to go over there. And I'm like, oh, that is oh. awesome. It's cool. Yeah. yeah, no, absolute blessing. Yes. Super exciting, yeah. What was your experience like, you know, at Duke and all? Well, I remember, um, cause I went to the AIS first. So I moved up to Canberra when I was 16. So I was sort of used to being away from home, but um, it was a pretty funny first year. I mean, uh, we made it to the final four. We won an ACC championship. So I just sort of rolled onto this team full of absolute superstars, um, you know, Elena Beard and, I mean, I've been in with Lindsay Harding and, and you know, Missy Bass Williams. I don't know if I knew. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like it, it was, um, it, it was a, a really fun year. It was a long way from home, but yeah, the culture is a bit different. So it took me a little while to <laughs> lead over there. But what, what about you? How's it been for you so far? Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I like. Bit similar, but like, yeah, I moved to Townsville after graduating. Um, yeah, so I had a bit of um, experience, yeah, being away from home. So I think that definitely helped. But um, yeah, definitely adjustment being over there. But yeah, great culture. And um, yeah, super easy to like, you know, get in amongst that Duke. So yeah, I've really enjoyed it so far and very keen to continue my two more years. So, yeah. Yeah. And so your season was just sort of cut off this year. That must have been pretty hard for you guys. Yeah, we're actually starting to get on a real roll too. So, yeah, and you know, it was going to be our first um, think we we're up for the NCAA tournament. So that was so sad. But um, yeah, so yeah, just kind of cut and got told with, like to go home. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty strange. And um, yeah, to just be cut off. But yes, yeah, you got to do what you got to do. So on to next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. Next year, I just had um, both of my dogs like you know growling, coming to say hello. So we'll say, "Oh my gosh, so cute! Oh, so cute! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is so cute! What's their names? Uh, so I've got McDuff and Willow. McDuff, I love it. <laughs> so cute. You got pets at home that you miss when you're away? Yeah, I've got one, um, Bo. I don't know where he is actually, but um, yeah, like a little white Maltese, like Shih Tzu. Yeah, super cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll get my dad to grab him. But um, yeah. Um, anyway, I'll go. Yeah. Um, so you've been to the final four. What's that like? Like that's phenomenal. Yeah, well, as I said, I went as a freshman. <laughs> Probably, you know, I was a bit overwhelmed by everything that we did that year. And as you know, you know, you kind of fly around and, um, you know, basketball is so massive in America. I was a bit, you know, I probably didn't really pay attention to everything that was going on. So by the time I got back there again, senior year, oh, hello. There's <laughs> back. <laughs> we can just have dog catch up. <laughs> But nah, um, the the you know the final final four I went to senior year we lost the championship game in in time so that was it was a pretty devastating way to finish but having said that just very cool to to be there and and you know always sort of be a part of the mix every year I think you know the worst finish we had while I was there was an elite eight so pretty good yeah that's awesome yeah that's definitely one of the goals um, but yeah us you know to final four definitely got the eyes on definitely yeah wanting to get that because that's such an awesome experience yeah again just put on your footsteps over <laughs> better than what we did while we were there but what are you uh, what are you majoring in um so i'm doing um, a minor in marketing and management and then a major in sociology 
Nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Do you find um, the academics pretty hard when you first got there? You went to a pretty good school in Australia, didn't you? <laughs> um, yeah, I did go to Morton Bay. Definitely set me up for Duke, which was good. Uh, but no, definitely a lot of work. Like, it's a lot of homework and all that, which, yeah, definitely adds on because you got, you know, the bars and all that. So, yeah, definitely had to learn time management and all. But um, no, I really I quite enjoy, like, the class I'm doing. So that's sort of positive. Yeah, so it really helps me. But, yeah, no. Dukes, yeah, academics, so <laughs> that's what you expect. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the three point shot against Yukon, whoa. When I was actually getting recruited to Duke, yeah, they definitely mentioned that a few times. I'm so excited um, about that. That's like dreams, wow. <laughs> it was, uh, that was a pretty special game. Um, yeah. yeah, it was, I mean, I'm probably more like the game itself, we were down by 20 at half time, we're on their home court. You know the crowd was just pretty hostile towards yeah. us. We were like, yeah, we're winning, we're killing them. Um, so it was, uh, it was just massive, just to, you know, to make a comeback. Um, and yeah. then be the one who had the ball with the, you know, half a second left was pretty cool. But yeah, I don't even, I didn't even see the ball go in because it <laughs> I was by teammates. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah, that's so cool. What was, what was going through your head when you like got the ball and? Well, I mean, there was no choice. Like, there was literally half a second left. So I got the ball on the three-point line. I had to shoot it. Yeah. I had um, I had a player coming straight at me. And actually, as soon as the ball left my hand, she knocked me flat onto the ground. So I didn't I didn't see it. I had no idea. Yeah. And then literally, I think the entire team jumped on top of me. <laughs> the, like, the doctor on the team, like, jumps on and... <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Yeah, that's like dreams for sure. <laughs> that's so awesome. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely one to keep, man. Yeah. So then you, um, yeah, you like went back and played like professional in Australia, in WNBL. Yeah, how was that experience? Yeah, good. I mean, I, um, I love the league out here. So, um, you know, I went to Turkey for a little bit, um, but I think I played about 260 games in the WNBL, so yeah, seven seasons or something. It was um, you know, mostly at Adelaide, but a couple of a couple of years up at the Townsville Fire, which was awesome. <laughs> but better weather and um, met some really cool people up there. But yeah, it's a good it's a good league to come back to. Hopefully, um, you know, all this coronavirus stuff doesn't you know stop it from going ahead next season. But yeah. Um, Sure there'll be plenty of opportunities for you. Do you do you want to come back and play in the WNBL? Yeah, yeah, I'd love to play. Um, personally, kind of like everywhere. I'd love, yeah, to play WNBL. Obviously, because it's my home, so it'd be awesome. And then, yeah, definitely want to play in Europe. So it's pretty cool to play in Turkey. That's mm -hmm. really, yeah, I really want to play in Spain and that. Um, and then, yeah, WNBA is a goal as well. So yeah, I'd love to do all. That'd be that'd be the dream. Yeah. And maybe an Olympics. I think quite. Oh, oh my gosh, a hundred percent. Yes. Yeah, definitely got the eyes in the Olympics. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, that'd be sweet eyes. So how are you training at the moment? Like what sort of stuff are you able to do? Um, so it's pretty hard to find a court. Um, a couple of courts, like they've taken down the rims. So I was like, what? But um, no, I found um, this other court that you're allowed to train on. So yeah, pretty much been going down there, shooting a lot by myself, getting, um, um, you like train one of them. So yeah, getting a friend to help defend and all, like, doing one-on-one -on -one in that. And then um, I've got like a skills coach here. So I've been training with him. So yeah, just like definitely different. Like, um, so used to, it's always different when I come home because that Duke, you know, it's 24 seven access. You just go in and shoot whenever. Whereas yeah, I've got to like drive somewhere or walk and hike and all that. So yeah, definitely different in that sense. But um, no, it's been good, yeah. It's been good, I guess, like when I was super young, I used to train at outdoor courts and like first like randos at the park, so. Pretty cool to be back, kind of like at a park. I find that a little bit cool. Yeah, so, no, it's been good, yeah. It's been interesting because, you know, like I've started doing um, some of the AFL players have posted their sort of home workouts and, yeah. um, you know, you, you used to go into the gym all the time, but yeah, there's so much you can do at home. It really like simplifies things, make it makes it easy. So yeah, I've enjoyed it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got um, sent like our um, weights program. 
I do. But yeah, it's um, it's all like body weight because yeah, the gym is done as the weights. But um, yeah, it's still pretty tough. I'm like, wow. Yeah, you can really get the workout in. Yeah, without the weights, which is pretty cool. Yeah. You guys still have um, Hauser doing your like preseason conditioning. I'm sure he isn't. <laughs> oh yeah, not anymore. We have um, Ashley. Yeah. But um. Yeah, no, she's she's pretty tough. I was sweating, dying, but it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> that sort of track around the golf course. Um, not around the golf course, but we do we do do it, go on the track and do like mile runs and um, you know, like the sprints and all that jazz. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the preseason. Yeah, and then thank the Lord in the season, she's on the course. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so with like, uh, yeah, so you transitioned then to play professional in the AFL. That's so cool. How was that like transition and all? And did you like, you played AFL like growing up and all that? So, I mean, like I keep, the, I've got brothers uh, and they both played AFL. So, um, yeah, I, well, they didn't play AFL, but they played football. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, I, I kicked the football with my friends a lot and my, my family growing up, but, um, you know, there wasn't really any women's leagues back then. And mm-hmm. I guess um, a, a few years ago when the AFLW first started, um, you know, I went out and watched my old teammate Aaron Phillips, who you probably know, um, yeah. and, uh, and a friend of mine was coaching the Adelaide Crows team. So, um, you know, I went out and watched and I was like, this is awesome, like so fun. Um, you know, all the girls were super fit. And it was sort of at that point where, you know, it was pretty new, so you could transition from other sports. So, yeah, I was, when I decided that, you know, I could sort of fit it in with work and everything, um, I gave it a go and absolutely loved it. So yeah. my first year on the um, premiership in front of 53,000 people. Um, oh, wow. Like, it was probably one of the like, sporting highlights of my career, which I would have never said because, you know, basketball was, was amazing, but yeah, uh, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's so cool to ever play pro on both sports. Like, wow. <laughs> so have cool. you ever like, been to a footy game up in Brisbane? Because I know you guys are like mostly rugby fans, but. Yeah, um, I think I would, yeah, when I was like super young though. Um, my granddad was quite into it, so yeah. Um, it was when I was younger, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I actually got a teammate who I played um, my under 17 Australian team, Minnie Conti, who's now yeah, Amber. Yeah, so it's cool to watch her and um, yeah, I've got a little star, so that's awesome. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, cool sport. And the dribbling, such skill. I'm like, wow. <laughs> I have a drill while I'm running with the oval shaped ball. I'm like, that is skill. <laughs> So I actually cannot do that at all. I think I tried to bounce the ball in um, one game and no, I was rubbish. So I was sort of, um, I suppose in football, I was like the equivalent of like a centre in basketball. Oh, yeah. So I was rough. Um, so I sort of tapped it to other people and oh. wasn't expected quite as skilled as you know someone like Mon Conti I think she can she's um been playing for a bit longer she's got a, a lot of skill but <laughs> yeah that's so cool yeah um what's I gonna say so you're planning to go back to the states like in the next couple of months oh. even despite all the restrictions or you know have you had sort of any word from the government about you know whether you'll be allowed out or yeah not actually totally sure it's still kind of up in the air because um Obviously, yeah, Dick's pretty close to um, New York, which has been hit pretty hard. So, yeah, actually not sure when to be back. Like the plan is, yeah, um, I think July, some of the school's probably going to be off. But, um, yeah, I think the aim is August. But, yeah, I guess, yeah. So I guess up in the air, not really sure, um, yeah, when I'll be going back, to be honest. Yeah, but hopefully soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you going to go back? What's going to be your weapon when you go back? What are you working on? What am I working on? Um, I think uh, just my whole game, just trying to improve um, all parts. Definitely a pull up, um, just becoming more like, yeah, natural and kind of go to, to my game. I think that'll be, um, yeah, kind of crucial because, yeah, that's always like odd middle that's a bit open. So, yeah, definitely want to really work on that and just, um, yeah, just improving all parts of the game. Um, 
yeah and just become a better player yeah oh that's good did you um do they ever give you a little bit of stick for your uh your accent over there like do they make fun of you in the in the change room oh 100 percent um especially may she's a senior so she's um graduated now but yeah she used to mock me like crazy and jade adams i'll shout out to her <laughs> definitely mocks me <laughs> no but it's hilarious yeah it's actually pretty good they definitely i say yeah a lot apparently so they're pretty good at yeah same years and then um actually kind of hilarious when i first get over um got over i was saying like michaela um boykin like, did something for me and i was like oh thanks heaps and it was so funny she like turned around she's like what did you just call me i was like uh what anyway yeah it's pretty funny um yeah they didn't really <laughs> a couple of words not quite common over there so pretty hilarious yeah I think um I don't know about you but whenever they used to try and mock my accent they'd sound British yeah no it does happen a lot <laughs> I'd say something like oh can you get my um drink bottle out of the cupboard and they'd be like get my drink bottle out of the cupboard <laughs> <laughs> actually so true oh that's so funny uh, hilarious Ali absolutely loved um whenever i'd call it like my hoodie my my jumper she'd be yeah. like oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah i do yeah the jumper yeah i was shocked with um actually like yeah a few words i was shocked when i was saying it and they didn't know yeah what i was talking about i was like oh gosh yeah and like keen like he knows yeah mm -hmm. no clue what that was i was like oh was, like excited like <laughs> yeah pretty funny so yeah, yeah take a few Aussie, Aussie sayings over there, you know, make them stick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Craggy, that's just a classic, you know. She's that one. Um, yeah, I don't know, just kind of shake and bake with it a bit, <laughs> whatever comes. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, how did your, like, yeah, Duke um, experience and Duke degree, like, help you with, like, your future and, you know, um, yeah, I mean, just life and your career. And... Um, when I sort of, you know, when I was getting towards the end of my basketball career in the WNBL and I thought, yeah, I actually want to go to med school now and, um, you know, be a doctor. I actually, so I applied, um, sat the test and, and went to my interview and I just must have dropped that I went to Duke, um, you know, in my interview. And usually in Australia, as you know, people don't really know like Duke as well as um, in America. Mm -hmm. well, one of the guys on the panel was just a huge fan of Duke and also like n knows a lot about the university and the hospital and everything. Um, so I'm pretty sure that going to Duke got me into med school. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, it was uh, it was very helpful. I mean, also the academics at Duke were um, mm -hmm. pretty. Um, you know, I remember going into my first couple of science classes, um, you know, physics and maths and chemistry over there, and it was it was pretty tough. I needed a tutor to get me through the first couple of years. So, um, yeah, it definitely set me up for, for going to med school. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, no, things, yeah, Duke's academics and all, yeah, pretty great. Like, yeah, after my career, sets me up too. <laughs> yeah. yeah have any idea what you'll sort of move into because you've got sort of sociology but the marketing and management there they're yeah, not actually totally sure um i'm really into like business and like yeah the entrepreneurial side so would be keen to go something down that lane um and then also would love to be a coach too i think um love to, you know give back a bit of knowledge so yeah yeah not totally sure though we'll see what the future holds but yeah i think yeah sounds pretty good to me <laughs> Yeah. Sounds really good. Of course, my dogs have just decided to like um, grab squeaky toys and start squeaking in the background. So please ignore them. Thank you. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, um, yeah, are you keeping in touch with your teammates and stuff over the over the break? Yeah, yeah, we have um, we have like a group chat so that always is going on. So that's fun. Always yeah. something hilarious in there. But yeah, yeah, we do. Um, yeah, like call each other, message each other a lot, reply to Insta stories, all that <laughs> new age stuff. But um, yeah, no, it's been great. Yeah, we also do like, um, or oh, we'll start up again. We had finals, but like, yeah, we do like team like Zoom calls, which have been 
great, yeah, you know, to see everyone all at once. So yeah, no, I think yeah. that's good to keep in touch because yeah, definitely a weird time. So yeah, mm-hmm. in touch with everyone. Yeah, Hopefully. yeah. You, yeah. Oh. Hopefully, it all sort of you know settles a bit so that you can go back and resume schooling and everything. Honestly, it's a squeaky toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. this toy but he's picked it right now <laughs> classics always the game um do you still keep in touch with like your teammates and that a little bit i mean it's been i can't really believe it but it's been you know 14 years since i graduated over there so um but yeah definitely um uh keep in touch with a few people and obviously social media is really good mm, yeah <laughs> boy um I hope they don't cut that in. Um, <laughs> but no, it's, um, you know, I remember when I, I finished up in America and I sort of was pretty keen to stay over there and um, got the opportunities with coaching over there. There's not, you know, as many sort of career opportunities in Australia. Mm. Um, so, you know, it is hard when you leave, but um, yeah, transition back and it's always a good place to visit Australia. So, yeah guys do come out here because the last time Duke came out to Australia that's when I got recruited so I was yeah, right oh so cool yeah yeah so yeah we were looking yeah next summer summer like um seeing the year summer coming out to Australia don't know whereabouts they said but yeah oh man <laughs> yeah that'd be awesome be yeah it would be pretty cool those girls in the water i don't know if um your teammates are particularly good swimmers but i remember when i was there there was a lot of floaties in the pool whenever we did pool workouts yeah yeah no it definitely is the case yeah yeah i found it so like I, that was a bit of like a shock for me because you know in australia like you learn it as like when you're like three or something like everyone learns it yeah that was definitely like i was like wait what like yeah believe it but um no yeah we do we do some like um swimming sessions like in pre-season um which yeah um some of my teachers like learning how to swim for the first time but yeah they're getting hang of it so that's good yeah so yeah it's, proud of them. they thought i was like an olympic swimmer i'm like no that's i was just average in australia <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. yeah yeah they're like whoa is this good yeah and i was like oh like look yeah it would be like i mean middle place in like the high school races <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I wish you all the best for for this year. Um, hopefully it all um, gets back up and and you can get back over there. But hopefully before you graduate, I can come and visit and uh, and see one action on Cameron Indoor. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. One hundred percent. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Come visit. Yeah. And get you. Crazy. Is still crazy. Yeah. They're still crazy. Still great. Yep. Love all the signs and cool stuff they do. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I love indoor camera. It's definitely, yeah, a different experience. So, yeah, one for the next. Camp Pardon? They still camp out, like Krzyzewskiville? Yeah, that stuff blows my mind, yeah. It's literally, it's like in the winter too. It's crazy, but yeah, it's like, yeah, they've got like the black tent, or yeah, black, blue and wine, and yeah, the hardcore ones, like months. So, you know, I'm like, wow. Yeah, I love it though. It's so cool. It is cool. Yeah, so into it. But yeah, yeah. Mm. Thanks for um. Yeah, thanks for calling. So awesome to meet you. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, that's all when I was going to do. And I heard yeah your name and all. And then now I'm getting to meet you. So cool. Yeah. Yeah, you're just smashing all these records over there. So <laughs> keep an eye. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, I get over and, and watch you play. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be unreal. Yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, well, take care. Stay safe up there. Thanks, you too, yeah. Stay safe, keep your family safe, and yeah, hopefully chat to you some other time, yeah. Sounds good. All right, see you, Mella. See you, bye.